Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Dusty Vision TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and please tell a friend about my program. Uh, as a lot of you know, I recently had Dr. Sebi's grandson on my show to discuss CMOS and the benefits of it. When you talk about CMOS, mm -hmm. CMOS is food for the body. Mm -hmm. So that's oxygen is what you need to survive. Mm -hmm. Hydrogen, what you need to survive, and carbon. Okay. So when you take sea moss that we give you, it's going to put 90 to 102 minerals. So it's going to enhance your central nervous system. Mm -hmm. It's going to put the zinc, the calcium. So if someone has asthma, it's gone. They have high blood pressure, it's gone. Really? If you're borderline diabetic, we're, we're, it's gone. Mm -hmm. um, arthritis pain, joint pain, inflammation in the body. Suppressing the appetite, burning belly fat, giving the skin a natural glow, improving hair growth and nail growth. Damn. That's what CMOS does for the body. Okay. Now, all this extra shit that's out here, I'm going to just be honest. I don't know nothing about it. And it was on that show that I actually learned about a YouTuber out there by the name of King Erner. And before I introduce my guest, I do have to say that um, everything he says is alleged. I personally do believe the guy, um, just from the receipts that he showed me. On the line, I have K Breeze. What up, K Breeze? How's it going? It's going great, man. I appreciate you joining the program. Just recently, you and I had a conversation on Instagram. You shot me a DM, and I'm going to let you explain uh, your story of how you, I guess, you know, knew about King Erner how you decided to buy the product and what happened from there. So I guess we'll start at the beginning. Are you a supporter of, of King Earner or were you a supporter at one time? Well, it, it's a little bit, and I just wanted to um, run through it really quick just to give you guys a really good synopsis of how I arrived at this moment. Um, and I'll make it really brief. Um, I'm 47 years old. Take your old. time, my brother. Take your time. All right. So I'm 47 years old, and um, I was born a baby of five kids i was born in 73 in the um urban you know what we would call the hood the ghetto and you know but i had a really good family raised by my grandparents uh, my grandfather was a preacher uh, my mother ended up naming me a muslim name out of all five kids she decided to name me a muslim name uh. and, um my name is Khalid, like dj Khalid, uh. or like the r&b singer khalid you could call it either way but whatever the case I started to find out truly about Islam probably around 19 or 20, but I wasn't ready to commit yet. So what happened was when I got about 25 years old, I ended up getting shot. I got shot on a Friday night at about 12 o'clock at night. And so I made my mind up that if I make it out the hospital alive, I'm going to go become Muslim. So I had a girlfriend at the time. I told her I'm breaking up with her. I'm becoming Muslim. I got shot. I got out the hospital that Sunday morning. I had surgery. Everything was successful. They got the bullet out. And then I stopped drinking. I stopped eating beef and pork. I became Muslim, but she wanted to go with me. She was 21. I was 25. So she ended up um, going with me and becoming Muslim, too. And we left there married and Muslim. Now it's 21 years later. We got a big family, kids born Muslim. And um, I've been, you know, looking lately for things that's healthy. So the last five years, I quit smoking. And um, that's the only thing I did besides, you know, I had no more streets, no more drinking, no more gambling, no more women. But I did smoke off and on. I fought that battle for these last 20 years. But I've been off it for five years. So I've been looking for healthy things. So either way, I was watching the movie Paid in Full recently, okay. maybe the last three or four years. And I was thinking about the real character. So when I would look up the real characters that the movie was about, it would always come up with this King Erner. Because what he does, he's Muslim. And he's a Muslim like me. We follow what we call the Sunnah. So we're Sunnah Muslim, not the Nation of Islam. And um, it attracted me to him that way. Plus, he would talk about the real character, Alpo, from that movie about, because he would snatch people's honor. He called it, if they're snitching, he snatches their honor. But before he would go into these videos, he would always sell sea moss. He would talk about the benefits of sea moss. 
and he would um, always do his Seymour sales pitch in the beginning of the video. And so uh, I was thinking about getting it, but I recently got a scare in August. My sugar level went high. So I had a sugar level of 1,117. 1, I was took in the hospital for three days. I got out and I just dedicated my life to fixing the sugar problem. So for the last three months, I've been, um, I got CMOS and um, the medication that the hospital gave me. And I've been on a health kick, working out, eating right, watching my portion size, carb counting. And so I finally went ahead and wanted to order the CMOS. So I finally tried to get it from King Erner, and that's when this happened. Mm. Did you do your, your research on CMOS or anything like that? Or were you just, you know, let me support this dude and he's talking a good game type thing? I definitely did. And when I started doing research, you know, like whenever you got like an iPhone, I don't know how this technology works today, but once you start searching things, oh, yeah. they put you in like an alg algorithm. Oh, yeah. maybe. I of think of, I, yeah, I'll think of something. And the next thing I know, I look on my phone and it's like, damn, I was just thinking of Popeye's yeah. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I started seeing this. So I would look at the benefits. I would look at this and that, but I wasn't ready yet because I didn't kind of understand. You know, it's a, it's like a, it's like an algae from the ocean. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get the concept exactly um, of how the actual natural product looked. So I just did, tossed it around in my head for a while. But I was finally ready. I ordered some capsules. My brother takes these capsules. I ordered that on Amazon. But then I was ready for the real deal. So finally, I DM King Erna. He says in his video that his um his um Instagram is um K I N G. E A R N E E E R one. Go there, DM me, and blah 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 blah. So I went there, DM them. He said, "Yeah, I can get it to you. Uh, I can send it out tomorrow in the AM or whatever." And so I, I didn't know because I was dealing with two different pages, and I was trying to figure out why. How, how do you got two pages? But he got one called the Honor Campaign, and one called the King Owner One. And so uh, finally I said, okay, I thought it was fraud. I should have went with my first filling. But I said, okay, give me your cash app because he sent it one time and I deleted it because I thought it was fraud. Okay. So he sent it again and I sent him the money. So I wait about a week. If you look at the um, time, the dates on those um, conversations, you should see when I contact him again over and over, I will wait like maybe five days or more mm -hmm. and say, hey, what's going on? Where's my tracking number? And what's the original said, oh, what's the original promise of days to be delivered? He said he was gonna send it out in the AM. So I was figuring I'd give it, you know, because I work for AT and T. Uh -huh. So I know he's quoting um time frames a lot. So I figured it would be anywhere from five to seven business days at the most. Because he said he was gonna send it out the next day. If you see the very first text, um he said that he'll get it out in the AM of some sort. So um he never sent it. And so I went on and on. So finally, I asked him, um, you know, I'm not getting a tracking number. I'm worried, you know. And so uh, what happened was, if I can remember it correctly, he um, blocked me. I got a followers app where I can see who blocked me or who unfollowed me. And he um, blocked me. He took my money after I cashed out him and he blocked me. Mm. And he's Muslim. So this is big to us. I don't know... Um, uh, are you Christian? Uh, I, I grew up Christian, yes. Good. Okay. So, yeah. So, with Muslims, it's a very serious thing for us to take advantage of any mm -hmm. people and give um, Islam a bad name. You know already with the terrorism and with all that stuff, you know, a lot of that spilled over to Muslims that were innocent, mm -hmm. that didn't do anything wrong, but the Bin Laden stuff caused them to get ill-treated, you know, mm -hmm. in airports and around the world and in America. So you know how that could be. And then another thing, too, CMOS. It's a very good, wonderful creation by God. And for him to give it a bad name and and, and for him to um, do this to people, I just thought it was our duty to protect people, and, um, especially each other. So yeah. I felt really bad, and I wasn't, I just couldn't let it die. You know? When did you make the initial order? What, what month are we talking? October. Oh, um, of last actually, year, of 2019? No, no, no. Just oh, October yeah. just happened. I'm sorry. This damn this life is going so fast. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. It so is. October 2020. Okay. And three months later, here we are. Nothing. When did he? Actually, nothing. Yeah. When did he actually uh, block you? Do you? Does it? Did they let you know when he blocked you? 
Okay. Uh, if you look in the in the in the receipt on November fifth, I contacted him and I said I still don't have my tracking number. This is stopping me from knowing the status of my package. I said I ordered this weeks ago. What's going on? He said Walaikum Salam, which means again he's using Islam. And um, he said Walaikum Salam. None of my packages has landed. I don't know. Mail is effed up here, but I will walk in and check today. I said okay, please. Let me know if you find out something. And I said, shukran. That means thank you in, in, in Arabic. And then he said, ahwan. So he's using Islam. And right after that, he blocked me. So on November 14th, which is nine days later, I contacted him, letting him know that you never sent my tracking number and that you blocked me and blah, blah, blah. You know, if you can see um, mm -hmm. that last screenshot I sent you. Yeah, yeah, I read every, literally everything. Now the whole conversation that you sent me that's that's the whole that's the entire conversation you had there was nothing edited out on either part this is this is the no. conversation wow okay so he that just all of a sudden just blocked you that's okay and the only thing that's missing is our first initial contact because I thought it was fraud cuz you do know on Instagram even with the stars like Chris Brown them some fans make pages mhm mm so some fans do make pages you might think is Rihanna <laughs> yeah. But it's not, you know. So I didn't know if someone did that to him because I didn't know exactly how big he was. So I was saying, okay, I'm hoping I got the right DM that I'm not dealing with some kind of, um, yeah, you know, a person Who's, that's not mm -hmm. really him. Yep. So mm -hmm. what do you think about um, hearing mm -hmm. this and um, being a person that's in podcasting or? You, you know it bothers me when someone with the with a platform uh, steals money from people and and we'll call it what it is it's stealing um if you have not received your product but you sent the money and he didn't uphold his end of the bargain and sent you send you your product that's stealing and I'm, I'm not a muslim but i'm pretty sure that that's that that's looked down upon in the quran i'm just that's right i'm just guessing and I think from that aspect, it is, for lack of better words, it's a shitty situation. And it really sucks. And I really hope that King Erner, if you, if you did receive money from this person, it would be honorable. Because isn't that what he talks about? He talks about honor, right? I'm going to snatch your honor, yeah. like you said. That part Absolutely. I do know. Yeah, I do know that part about him. Um, it's honorable for you, King Erner, to uphold your end of the bargain. I'm going to connect you with a gentleman out here on the West Coast in L.A. who I can 100% vouch for. And he himself, he has a line of CMOS that he pushes out here in Los Angeles. And according to everyone's um, uh, ratings, they really, really love it. That's my man, Frank Nitty. So we'll get together offline and I'm going to actually you spent $50 uh, on this King Erner um, product. You, you sent him $50, correct? Absolutely. I am going to have my friend Frank Nitty, and this is going to be completely on the tab of Dusty Vision TV. I'm going to have my friend Frank Nitty send you $50 worth of his CMOS product. And just maybe, just maybe you will decide to, to you know, buy in the future and, and stick with him. Um, unfortunately, as I was researching your story and researching King Erner, and particularly over the last, you know, 24 hours, I do see other videos on YouTube of people who receive their product and it wasn't 64 ounces. It was really, you know, 25 ounces. Um, there have been people I did see who did not receive their product just like you did. Um, so that's a crappy situation, man. And King Erner, he has YouTube. He knows. He, he, he knows how to search his name and type in King Erner CMOS and see what pops up and i really think that as an honorable person he should reach out and at least uh, try to give these people what they what they paid for so um if it's cool with you offline like i said i'm going to connect you uh, with my friend frank nitty who has his own cmos gel out here thank you so much She 
said she wanna see the city bus She don't wanna ride the city bus because she's new to the town, I advise Look for truth, the ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud, dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash, I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up, I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up, I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah most of my life i've been following stars knowing i ain't really had to go that far come to find out is the truth i already know yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blame instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to baby, that's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about baby, just sit your ass down Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning, won't remember shit I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go Put your seatbelt on, up and away, we bout to go bout to The road go. is gon' get windy, promise not to lose control. control The final destination's bound to captivate your soul And so, many MCs inspired to be One of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC Then the law came life, now the dreams deferred All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur Mind ponders, contemplating the worst Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'ma make it Others believe in you too When it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah